friend Hazy with Sit Stay with Stacy Slade. I hope you all are making the best of our world right now. And while we're in isolation, while we have our dogs always with us, I wanted to share a little bit about how I entertain my dogs. And I do a lot of these activities throughout the week. Um, I don't do them every day because they're very stimulating for the dogs. But I wanted to share with you some of the tools I have, and Hazy's already, <laughs> already enjoying it, that I keep my dogs uh, entertained throughout the day. Um, and a lot of it includes their meals. Um, Hazy gets her lunch, and she is fed kibble. And this little guy, um, you, it's pretty easy, it entertains her for a good 15 to 20 minutes. You put the kibble in the top and there's a hole that kibble falls down into the base of this kind of bowling pin thing. And then there's a hole where the kibble is dropped out of and Hazy will spend 20 minutes bobbing this thing around trying to get the kibble as it, the kibble falls out of it. She'll spend a while doing that with her lunch. See, she knows that and actually there's no kibble in it so I won't tease her. <laughs> so this is a really good one. You can get it all about, or excuse me, about dogtraining.com. Um, food release toys are everywhere. You can put kibble in a Kong and then graduate the Kong up to like peanut butter so they can lick it. You don't fill it full of peanut butter. You take a knife and you smear the peanut butter on the inside. You don't want that much peanut butter. Also make sure your peanut butter does not include uh, the sweeteners, I think is what they're called, the xylitol. Um, that it does not contain xylitol. Um, there's some good peanut butters out there that don't. So this will occupy them for a while, licking that um, and getting going on that. And I put this full of peanut butter, or sometimes cheese whiz, not full, but smeared on, on the edges. The other one that Hazy loves, and there still might be kibble in it, is a snuffle mat. Hazy! Is I sprinkle her lunch, which again is kibble, into the snuffle mat and she'll spend a long time. It takes her a long time to find the kibble because it's just a bunch of fleece um, tied to a, a mat and it's it's really in, engaging with them. They have to sniff to find their kibble. It's a lot of fun. There's no kibble in it right now, which I feel bad that I didn't want to do a bunch of feeding with her right now while we did this because she gets plenty of treats as it is. The other thing that are that I love doing is these Kong toys. I have a couple different ones of them that they have holes in, in them to where you can put treats and it takes them a while to get the treats out. And so uh, they lick at them, they chew at them, they drop, Chase likes to drop it on the floor and shake the, the, toy, the uh, treats out. Lots of different ways, find them online. They're Kong toys. Kong has a bunch of different toys that can keep a dog and a puppy busy for a long time. Um, then there's also your chews, your white, uh, your white knuckle bones from Red Barn. Love those. Uh, bully sticks, I do well with them. I take them away um, before they're done with them. And then there's your low cost options of a beer, a, a beer, beer cardboard. Any box. I'm getting lots of boxes at the house. Is puppies love to tear apart boxes. I use my big box for my tricks demonstration. If you watch that, she learned to go in and out of the box. Um, so it's really good for puppies to explore those things and I, I let the dogs after the box has been on my front porch for a while bring it in the dogs stand on the box they put paws up on the box and then I open take the stuff out of the box and they get to jump in the box so we get to explore with those new things coming into my house um, something I really love um, are interactive games with dogs so I've got a puzzle here and I'm not putting it down too low because it'll move. So these little guys, they slide, and I've got hot dogs under each one of them. Hazy's never done this before. So we'll put it on the floor instead of the snuffle mat. And I'm gonna help encourage her. Let me see where you guys can see this. So she has to figure out, she can smell the hot dog. She has to move these little guys by herself and figure out how to move uh, to get the hot dog. She can smell, so she just has to move the slide the little um, compartments with her nose. And so she's never done this before, so it'll take her a second to figure it out. But, and it's something I do with them. It does engage their brain, so they're using their, their nose, um, and it gets them going. I might encourage her, good girl, Hazy, good girl. That's right, you're doing a good job. So she's a little frustrated because she can't figure out how to get them. They don't move how the dog normally. <gasps> Did you get it? Good girl, good girl. So I'm right there when she gets it. So she got one. So she's like, okay, 
I can get to them. I just have to figure out how I did that first one. So she moved it with her nose, and so she's going to continue going here. Good girl. So I just have to make sure that she knows. If, oh, now she's going to use her paws, which is really good, because that's a great way to slide things. She wasn't successful, but... Oh, yeah, good girl! She found another one. The cool thing about this is I use little pieces of hot dogs. She's never had hot dogs before. So it's kind of a cool experience for her because it's something brand new to reward her with. So hoping that you guys can see that. She works away at that. So these are really good. These are Nina Otteson toys. Um, again, you can get them online. Um, there's lots of different ones. Good girl, yeah, good girl. Hey, hey good girl, Hazy. So they're very self-rewarding. They allow them to use their brain, use different parts of their body. Good girl, Hazy. Now she's starting to figure it out to use her nose to get them around, to get them out. And so the next step, which I won't do with Hazy because it's too, it's too hard for her, is you put, I have these little bones that have a hole in the top, and you put them over the hot dog on this, and they have to pick them up or paw at them to get them out of the way. So now she's rocking and rolling. She knows to slide them all. So she's checking them all. What's interesting is one half of it slides one way, the other slides the other way. So it, it takes some brain power for them to kind of figure this out. And then you add the, this on top. There's a little area for little dog bones to go with hot dogs underneath it. So there's a couple different levels to this toy. Did you get them all? I don't think you got them all. Whoa, there's one in there. Good girl. So another interactive toy I'll bring down. I do wash this between dogs sniffing all over it. There's another one is a star and the compartments where the food goes are in each star it spins. This is harder. I don't expect her to get this right. Oh well she did. She got one. Good girl. So she spun that around pretty quickly. So she's getting the base layer. There's two la la layers that spin around it. But again, these are really fun toys. She's having a blast at it. It keeps her entertained, and it's something I can do with her that um, allows her to use kind of different uh, different parts of learning with her nose and her body to kind of fi figure out how to maneuver and, and turn things around. So, in addition to choose of bully sticks and you know different stuff that you can give your dog to chew on. Raw knuckle bones are a big one that I love. Um, these are some interactive toys. There's plenty of them out there. Um, enjoy them with your puppy. Give them something to do and think about. Um, give them their meals in the snuffle mat or the bowling pin. It gives them something to focus on. I use her, if you go back to my video on how to teach patients, I use her meal to work out of my hands so she has to figure out how to get her meal. So it's not just a boring old day of getting fed whenever she wants to. She's having a blast with this. She thinks this is really cool. So keep your puppies engaged. Give them good things to keep them occupied with so they don't chew or they don't do anything bad. Hazy's always inter interested in her toys and what I have next, you know, rolled up my sleeve for her. So um, it's, it's fun that way and it keeps your puppy exciting, excited to work with you and figure out what games that they're going to play next. So have fun with your puppy, enjoy, and do work to uh, keep their brain engaged because a puppy that thinks is a puppy that wants to work for you. So teach them how to think early. And feel free, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments uh, and subscribe. We love doing these videos, and I hope you guys are enjoying them. Because I know Hazy likes doing them. <laughs>